a couple months ago, I had a little kitten that I brought back from the shelter and we named her Chickpea. You might remember her. She was a super cute little black and white tuxedo baby with a fancy mustache. Chickpea was super cute, but kittens like Chickpea don't just drop out of the sky from a stork. All of these kittens have an origin story, and if we don't get curious about their origin story, then that origin just keeps repeating itself and repeating itself and repeating itself. So right now we are in a backyard. Whoa, there's a cat. Hello. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of cats. Right now we're in a backyard where there are a lot of cats running around. We saw some little kittens, uh, we've seen some adult cats, and they all look curiously like chickpea. A lot of people don't realize, but 80% of kittens born every year in the United States are actually born outdoors in colonies just like this. So every single kitten that I take in, pretty much when you go back and trace their origin to where they came from, they came from a place that has a lot of cats um, living outdoors. So we are here, we're going to uh, trap all of the cats and kittens and get them sterilized so that there's no more little baby chickpeas being born and running around. We have a little kitten that we rescued from the shelter, but she came from this neighborhood. And it's funny because she looks, look, that looks just like her. Yes. That looks exactly she like her. She just had actually the, the girl kitten, black and white. Yeah. She had six of them. Yeah. The two went to the actual rescue. Yeah, let me show you a picture of the one that we had. Are you chickpeas, mom? How many of the little kittens do you have? Two little kittens. She was one of the first cats here? Yes. Yeah. Have you seen her have babies before? Yes. Yeah. The little ones. There's another little one somewhere. She's the mom of the little ones running around right now? Yes. Oh, wow. We're about to get this guy here. There's so many. They're gonna come on my mom, the cat woman. Mm-hmm. Like animals, but you know, there's too many. I'm sure. You can't feed we them all. We always say we love cats, but we don't need any more. Yeah? <laughs> oh, oh, the kitten. Oh, the little, the yeah. little guy. Mm -hmm. There's the mom. There's the other cat. Dang, I wish I knew where that kitten just went. Probably hiding. Back yeah. on the wheels or something. <laughs> that one oh, back. I see the kitten. I think the kitten is behind it, the trap. Yeah, they are. Just go in. Come on. That back foot. There we go. Oh, no. Come on. There we go. It's going to go. Boom. All right. We got the cat, but the kitten Zuck. is right behind. He just ran off, but we'll get him next. I'm going to go in for a second. Okay. We'll come back up. So when far. you get back, we will have caught the mama. <laughs> Hit the big one. <laughs> We're getting there. Just needs to make that step. I know. Come on. Here we go. 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 Yes. That's. Oh my gosh. She stepped over it. The cat is in the trap, but she didn't step. On the Hang plate. On. We gotta get her to step on it. Oh, there, here we go. Go. there we go. Here we go. Okay. You got it. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Took long enough. She was like so dainty. I know. Okay. Okay. So we've caught. How many have we caught? We caught. A kitten, a mama cat, a boy cat. We've caught, I think, four cats that all look identical to chickpea, and we have like two or three more that we've already spotted. So let's go do some more. Hi. That one looks just like chickpea. What are you, you're nuts. Oh. <laughs> Hi, baby. All right, we got the other kitten. So I'm gonna just transfer the kitten into here because this kitten is a really good age for socializing. 
Hi. What do you think? He looks like chickpea. I know. You look like <laughs> chickpea too. So the handy thing about this trap is it has um, a back on it that you can slide open. Slide this open. There you go. Welcome. Okay. There's chickpea's cousin or nephew or brother or someone. Hi. But all I know is that's definitely chickpea's relative. We just caught the second baby, so now we get to put them back together. I'm sure they'll be happy to see their friend. Hi, honey bunch. You ready? Here you go. Go see your friend. Hi, babies. Oh my God, it's chickpea times two. Take a look. Chickpeas. <laughs> Those are the chickpeas. The chickpeas. Look at ya. I mean, spitting image. This definitely illustrates why it is important to actually go and sterilize the colonies of cats who are giving birth to all of these kittens. When you rescue a kitten, your work is not done. Your work is just beginning. Uh, rescuing that kitten is the sign to you that there's something going on in the neighborhood where that kitten came from. And you can see, you know, when we come to the neighborhoods, you just find their entire extended family. That's why we call it full circle, because you have to complete the entire thing to really make a permanent impact. It starts with a kitten, but it certainly doesn't end there. And by coming full circle and addressing the root cause, we actually can prevent more kittens from coming into the shelters. Like in the past, I used to always just go to the shelter and get kittens and accept the story that like, oh, they're an orphan, you know, there was no family there, nobody saw them. But really, um, you know, most of the time when you go to the address, you actually do find a family. So I encourage people to get curious about where your kittens are from, get the address, go back, address the root cause. It's time for name that chickpea mom. Is chickpea's mother behind trap number one? Looks pretty similar. Or is she behind trap number two? Hello. You look really similar too. Or is she trap number three? We got a butt, but guess what? Looks just like her too. Well, it all runs in the family. I see you up there. This neighborhood is full of tuxedos. Hi. There are so many free roaming cats in our country who are not sterilized, and they are really the ones who are giving birth to all the babies who end up in our shelters. More and more shelters are starting to have community cat programs that actually address this issue, but a lot of them don't. It's such a shame to me that in many communities, we place a huge emphasis on finding foster homes for kittens and finding adopters for kittens, but we're not always focusing on the root of the issue. Full Circle really seeks to address the underlying cause of kitten intake in animal shelters. When each kitten comes into the shelter, the shelter should be asking the finder, where did you find the kitten? They get the address where the kitten was found or the intersection. They can transfer that kitten to an organization and then the organization can get the information where the kitten's from. So whenever we pick up a kitten from the shelter, we always ask for the origin address. Then we go to the address and we start knocking on doors. Almost every single time we find that there are a lot of cats around. Then we are able to trap those cats, bring them in for spay or neuter, get them ear tipped so we can identify that they've been sterilized, and then we can bring them right back to the community that they know. But make sure that they don't have any more babies.